Tommy DeVito here, y'all. Oh my God. Unbelievable. The entire purpose of training for the summertime is to get us ready for training camp, right? We've been going, we've been in-house for a year and a half, and we are building on what we've got so far, right? We've laid the foundation up until this point. The first year is always us trying to get our system implemented and installed. Right? Today's finisher? Huh? Today's finisher? Yeah, trying to get guys brought up to speed and get them to understand what it is we want them to do, how we want them to run, how we want them to look, what their body language has to be like. Um, getting them comfortable with the format of how we do things. We spent the last year and a half doing that and now, instead of trying to install all of those things, everybody has an understanding of what we are about right now. And now we can start to sharpen those things up, right? We can, we can delve a little deeper into making these guys the best athletes they can possibly be. So when we first came in, everybody was basically doing the same thing. We hadn't been in house that long. Okay. And the longer you are with a team, they become your team. And they don't look like one big group of guys, right? They look like a group of individuals. I'm going to be out here on the five, dead center. When you see the ball move, you burst and you run as hard as you can through 10 yards. There you go the team before we started. My vision and my goal was to train a team that was sudden, right? That was the word I used, and that's the word I'm going to continue to use exactly all right. summer. I want a team that is sudden. Some people get that right away, and some people don't, right? The football terminology, sudden, could mean violent. Sudden could mean unexpected. Sudden could mean explosive. Sudden could mean decisive, right? I want to train a team that is very sudden, both in their athletic output as well as their mentality when it comes to competition, right? I want them to be decisive. I want them to be explosive. The way that we're training them in the weight room, the way that we're doing the things out on the field, we're trying to create that culture of consistency so they get better and better and better. Constant repetition carries conviction, right? The better they get, the more repetition they have, the more consistency they show, the more conviction they will execute the plays with, and I believe we can train a sudden team. Here you go! So we're halfway through week two. We are getting our legs under us. We're getting back. We started to we, we vary the drills. We vary the runs that we're doing. So we're trying to create a, a, a broad range of things that we're doing. Make it fluid. Make it fluid. Make it fluid like your athlete. When we get into week three, we're really going to start to individualize a lot of the things that we're doing. Okay, out on the field, we're going to start making the runs very specific, right? You always move from general to specific. We're going to start making the runs, some of the runs very specific to the way that we practice, okay? Uh, and we're going to start to be very nitpicky, if that's a word, with a lot of the drills that we are doing very specifically. What we want to see from our skill players, what we want to see from our linemen, you know, that, that sort of thing. Uh, and that's going to just progress from week to week to week. We've got five weeks in June, so we're really going to push in June to get all we can in the weight room uh, while we get better and better on the field. We come back in July, and then we are really going to push on the field, uh, trying to get our new incoming freshmen up to speed as best we can to prep everybody for training camp so we can have the best training camp possible so we can be ready for the season right off the bat. Here we go, jump it up. Last week, last week I talked about, I talked to you about getting into a routine. Not everything can be the most exciting freaking thing you've ever done. Nobody gets excited about karaoke. I've never seen anybody get excited like, oh, I can't wait to get to karaoke. I understand 10 men with a skip is different. <laughs> get into the routine, man. Respect the routine. If you do that, that bell curve goes further to the right and we win and we don't lose. That's what it is. It's about how you go about it. We told you since day one. It's not what we do, it's how we do it, man. That is the freaking difference. That's the difference. Respect the routine.
If you do that, we fly through this and everybody eats. Everybody gets what they want. Get us a break. Let's go. Way to work, keep competing, let's keep getting better, man. Let's go, family on three, one, two, three. Hundred thousand dollars chandelier. They tried to turn me to an animal, but white people think I'm radical. Supermodels think I'm handsome. You might think I'm too aggressive, but really I think I'm too passive. Till I pull out the chopper, start blasting.